is very exciting, this isn't it? Is very exciting. So this is Callan, James Bond, both very cool, mm -hmm. both very exciting. Perfect collaboration. Brought together, went a bit David Brent now, yeah. uh, brought together in the stunning release. Yeah, so we're, we're celebrating the, the fifth decade of James Bond with this release. Mm. Um, I have the very privileged position to drink a little bit of Macallan um, mm. in my in my spare time. I've been up to the estate um, in the last year or so as well, and you know when you think of Macallan, you think of prestige, you think yeah. of five star, you think of the partnership with Bentley. Yeah. And there's something about them doing James Bond that it's just perfect. They yeah. are the coolest brand. It's perfect for James yeah. Bond. I'm feeling very, very privileged to get to try this today. So thank you for Bevy for getting oh, us to try this today. Um, in terms of what to expect, probably classic Macallan. We're looking mm. for an unpeated classic Speyside, European oak influence. Honestly, they don't tell us an awful lot about the liquid inside this whiskey. Mm. We just know it's going to be quite special. Yeah. Um, what's your experience with Macallan? Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, in general, I think yeah, last few years have been interesting because they've very much sort of evolved into you know bigger a, a, and bigger and an bigger. aspirational brand, yeah. however you yeah. describe it. But it's yeah, it, it's it's very easy to criticise McCallum. I, I, I think that's yeah. probably more of jealousy. Than I, well, I think I think the yeah. best way to put it is people ask about McCallum is okay, maybe it's not necessarily always the brand for your average Scotsman anymore, yeah. but that's because they were the first great European oak whiskey. Yeah. If yeah, any yeah. of our favourites could have been in their position, they would be. Oh, do you know they would have bit yeah, their yeah. hand off for it? Um, so it's really nice when we do get to try these kind of special McCallums as well. Um, they're making. Uh, twelve and a half million liters a year. Mm. They're trying to catch up on how popular they are now. Yeah. Um, I think I suppose if they knew they were going to be this popular twenty, thirty years ago, they would have made a lot yeah. more whiskey back then. When I went to the distillery a year or two ago, mm -hmm. I love how the the end wall of this distillery can just be extended. Yeah. If like, oh, if we need to double the size, yeah. we just push we the can wall just back do it, yeah. and bring in an extra mash tun yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I'll put you still because the state is amazing. I, I mean. Last time I was there, it was it was a January. It was an amazing day, and we mm. took the Bentley down to um, the River Spey yep. into the Gillies yep. Hut. Sure. So they've got an, their own gilly that works on site now. Just basically like the estate. Yeah, fisherman. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. his name's, yeah. name's Robert. He's in all the nice. attire, and he, yeah. he takes Americans fishing, and then lets yeah. them buy lots of Macallan. Oh, I bet they love it. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's one of those things. A little bit of action, a little bit of play, you know. Um, it's perfect for the brand as well. Yeah. Um, James Bond, what's your, you must be a James Bond fan. Love James Bond. Yeah. yeah. I'd say personal favourite, probably Daniel Craig, but maybe mm -hmm. that's just a general generation. Well, we're so young. That's what we this is grew it. up with. Um, um, Skyfall for me, I think. Yeah. Again, us being Scottish, the scenery, it's so dramatic. That's my favourite film. That's what yeah. I think of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my father would always talk about the old James Bonds, and I think it was more just the idea if there was a new new Bond girl in every one of the yeah. films, right? So it's you know live your fantasy and dream to be James Bond. Twenty twenty three maybe. Yeah, it's one of those things. But what an amazing opportunity to celebrate the coolest man in fiction. Yeah. You know, uh, with an amazing whiskey. Yeah, it should be very very exciting. I think you alluded to earlier. There's not too many. Yeah, there's not, not much many hints yeah. given about whether in terms of age, yeah. in terms of you know specific cast types. Yeah, Four, um, forty-three point seven percent, quite which unusual. Is, which little, is odd. It's more generous for McAllen. Maybe yeah. they wanted another seven on the bottle. It could be um, as simple as yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but then it might give us a little bit more spice and a little bit more body as well. More. We're going to respect it's probably all the also. You know, McAllen are the only brand that have their own, you know, land in the north of Spain sure. from yeah, acorn yeah. to tree to cask. So. Either way, we don't know how old this is, but we know they've probably seasoned the cask for yep. at least six years before they used it in any yeah, malt. Yeah. So, let's, let's, let's try very it. Very exciting. I'll let you do the honours. Okay. So it's, it's rare that I let a, a guest taster I do it, but it. let's let's do it. Let's see what this is all about. It's Here just. Make sure I get in there. You can see the texture already. Mm. It's just very it, kind of viscous thick. and syrupy it's, and. Everything you want from a heavy sherry whiskey. Yeah. It looks luxurious. Mm. Okay. 
Slanjava, thank Slange. you once again to Betty. Pleasure. Really amazing opportunity. This is quite quite the bottle. Okay. What do you think on the nose? I mean, it's what do you say? It's <laughs> obviously say the classic McAllen. Classic McAllen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fudgy, mm. dense, touch of chocolate. Maybe optimistically a little bit of coffee. There's maybe a little bit of bitterness in there. Mm. But overall, sweet presenting, European oak. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's overly kind of juicy in the way nope, you get some shared nope. whiskies. It's not, you know, you know, sultanas and raisins. No, it's kind of a little bit more nutty, more, yeah. more, yeah. more toffees. Okay, let's give it a taste. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. Let's give it a little taste. It's fine. It's my catchphrase, but you know, it's fine. I could drink a pint of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's one of, you know, I think that's really good. Mm. I think it reminds me, um, <clears throat> perhaps of double cask. Okay. Style of Macallan. Okay, so not so it's overly. Not, it's not overly shared. indulgent yeah. and overly rich. It's quite balanced. Yeah. Um, it's definitely psychological. Maybe that point at seven percent of alcohol extra is making me think there's a little spicier. <laughs> yeah, it than does. Some accounts it does feel but a bit per, more. Per, perhaps it's a little bit younger. Mm. Again, we don't know the age, right? So yeah. maybe it's a little younger, and that's why we're getting that. The nose is my favourite part about the whiskey. Yeah. To be honest, I think the nose is so classic, McAllen. The palate is what you expect. Yeah, I think they've been quite. Smart for a release like this, it'd be stupid for them to do anything too wacky mm. or too. It needs to be, uh, yeah, yeah. It needs to be consistent. It needs to fall in with the brand. Yeah. You're also looking at there's going to be a big market for people buying this whiskey that aren't that into whiskey. Yep. There's going to be a market of people who are into Aston Martin and James yeah. Bond and are looking for something. Yeah. You mean Bentleys. Yeah. Well, Bentley is the yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, think, well, Aston Martin's what. Uh, James Bond drives, That's right? That's true, yeah. So in my head, you know, if you're a big Bond fan, you've got your DB9 sitting in your garage and you want a collection of whiskey sitting there. That's what, that's what I do with my collection off, yeah, anyway. For, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I feel for a release like this, I imagine we're, you know, we're going to get, you know, loads of insults online, calling us mad. Probably. What, what are you doing opening a whiskey like this? Well, it's I, not, I think the reality is item. we're probably one of the only people that will open it. Mm. Um, and whis whiskey... Overall, is there to be enjoyed. Okay, this is a fantastic yeah. investment piece, particularly if you have the portfolio. It's only going to go up in value. It's guaranteed. It's a very collectible brand. Mm. Um, it's like buying land. It's, it's just yeah. guaranteed. This cannot go down in value. It's impossible. But we've opened it. Yeah. And that's quite exciting for yeah. people, you know. It's, yeah. just and it's up. nice to know that, you know, not only is it whiskey, like I've heard my mum yeah. who says, oh, it could, could be cold tea yeah. in there for all yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. But it's, yeah, nice that it is whiskey, and it's nice that it's... A very pleasant. Classic Macallan, yeah. as yeah. you say. It's got that nice share influence. You know, fair enough. It's, it'd be unreasonable to expect this to be, you know, Mind something blowing. like from yeah. their, you know, exceptional cast yeah. series. You well, know, the red collections. Red yeah. collections, whatever. But, it's, but yeah. there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, what, it's, it's what you want. It's from, genius from Macallan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've done really, really well. And it's a nice whiskey. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely pleasure. So this one, as we say, is um, is decade number five in the series of six. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I'm aware, the full range of six is the same whiskey and all. But if it ain't <clears throat> if it ain't broke, why yeah. why fix it? Yeah, it's, it's classic it, mechanics. And the, the thought yeah. is that people will buy less. People will be able to get the full collection, yeah. so they'll buy one. Yeah. Um, but I think decade five, something that's still available. If you're a Macallan collector and you want something to add to your portfolio, yeah. it's a very pleasant Macallan and it's something a bit special. I don't think they're going to do another James Bond series. I don't think so. And I don't think no. any other brand could do a James Bond series. Mm. So this is your one you know, one and only opportunity. Yeah, no, it's been a hugely popular collaboration, as we mm. say, and yeah, fitting that they've chosen a whiskey that, that fits. Absolutely. It stands up to it. So yeah, an absolute pleasure. So... Thanks for Oh, well, listen, sharing, thank you for letting me try us. it. Oh, Thanks for letting me try no it. No problem at all. But yeah. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers, Slangevin. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good jam, you know. Yeah. 
Makes you want to stop a bank robber. <laughs> <laughs>